I'm obsessed with the concept of the traditional desktop. Panel, menu on the left, tray icon. Something that has worked for 40 years, present on Linux, Apple, and Windows. Apart from a few successful deviations, like GNOME Shell or some mobile experiments, that paradigm remains unmatched. It's a bit like chairs. Why do they have four legs? They could have three or a central base, but four legs at the corners are the most logical, efficient, and invisible solution. Design follows natural laws. In the same way, I believe the graphical interface of an operating system will always have a menu, a panel, and a tray icon. It's natural, it's immediate, it's the most rational result of the human screen-mouse-keyboard interaction. Sure, there will be alternatives like GNOME and maybe they'll do a great job, but the paradigm will remain, always. After this philosophical digression on OSUIs, let me get back to the point. I'm obsessed with the extremely traditional desktop style. I mean a clean, minimal, lightweight, essential style. But that has everything, a symphony. And in the search for this combination, over the years I've tried pretty much every window manager. The almost perfect. IceWM has the right structure, bottom panel, classic menu, traditional decorations. But then you open the menu and it looks like a bad Windows 95 clone. Inconsistent icons, pixelated fonts, wrong spacing. Want to change the wallpaper? You need to edit proprietary config files with no GUI. Too Spartan to be essential. JWM is ultra lightweight but brutally basic. A Windows NT style panel, eye straining decorations, gray on gray menus, and everything is configured in XML. To change a color, XML. To add an app, XML. The DIY kit. Openbox Tint 2 Rofi is a modular approach that can lead to beautiful results, but it requires hours of manual configuration. Colors, alignments, key bindings, fonts, icons, all done by hand. If you reinstall, you start from scratch. The nostalgic yet limited. Fluxbox has undeniable retro charm, nice decorations, old school aesthetics, but it's limited. Basic panel, problematic system tray, confusing workspaces. It's like a beautiful vintage car, fascinating to look at, less practical for everyday use. The complete but incoherent. XFCE is complete, configurable, stable. The problem is consistency. Panel with one theme, apps with another, file manager from another century. I mean in design terms. It's like a house where every room is decorated by a different designer. The heavy nostalgic. Mate recreates GNOME 2, for better or worse. Familiar and complete, but heavy and bloated with a thousand useless options. It's like using an SUV to go to the grocery store. Beautiful, but outdated. Trinity, KDE3 is beautiful. It was a design masterpiece, but not minimalistic. And it uses technologies from 20 years ago. Qt3, deprecated libraries, limited hardware support. A 1985 Ferrari, stunning, but you don't take it on the highway. The dull lightweights. LXDE and LXQt are lightning fast and perfect for old hardware. But they're dull, gray panels, basic menus, non-existent decorations, functional but soulless. The desktop equivalent of a Dacia Sandero, it gets you from A to B with zero emotion. So a modern version with modern technologies, simple, clean, rational, minimalist, extremely elegant, I had never found it. Until a guy, for fun, decided to write an entire operating system from scratch. Yes, you heard that right, an OS written entirely from scratch, with a desktop, a suite of apps, and even a browser. That guy is Andreas Kling. The system is Serenity OS. And yes, sadly, it's not Linux. I can't use it every day. And that, to me, feels cruel. Because that desktop, at least in my opinion, embodies everything I've been looking for. Everything. From A to Z. Have you seen the control center? Icon-based. It's so immediate, beautiful, clean. You click, and you go exactly where you want. There's the world of connections, the world of mail, the world of system settings. That's the concept. That's what I mean when I criticize KDE's system settings. It can be rationalized. It's a matter of order. The user shouldn't get lost in 10,000 sections, but navigate a readable system. So please stop for a second. Maybe you just see a traditional desktop. But let me be a little professor without arrogance. This desktop is the pinnacle of balance, refinement, and good design. Let me explain why, point by point. Technical coherence. Let's start with fonts. Serenity OS uses just one coherent font across the whole system. The sizes are well-defined, titles, menus, and body text are all clearly distinct, and the spacing is always the same. That makes everything easy to read, no matter where you are. 
Then there's the color palette. It sticks to a well-defined range, grays, whites, and blues. Each color has a specific role and meaning, and that meaning stays the same everywhere. The contrast is always just right, never too harsh, never too soft. And what about geometry? Serenity OS follows a kind of invisible grid. Everything is perfectly aligned with consistent padding and proportions. It feels like things just belong where they are. The layout is not random. It's based on logic, on mathematical relationships between elements. Visual design. Here's where the beauty comes in. Serenity follows a principle of functional minimalism. There are no unnecessary shadows or gradients. The icons are simple, clear, and instantly recognizable. The edges are sharp, no arbitrary rounded corners. There's also a visual hierarchy that makes sense. Each element has the right size and the right weight. Nothing feels out of place or too dominant. The interface guides your eyes naturally from one part to the next, without confusion or distraction. Implementation details. Technically, it's solid. The text is razor sharp with anti-aliasing tuned just right. Every element is pixel perfect, aligned with precision. You won't find flickering or graphic glitches. It's like looking at a well-composed digital painting. The theming system is also smart. Colors and styles are defined using global variables. Change one and the whole system adapts. It's a bit like CSS, consistent, hierarchical, and modular. Themes are built with logic, not patchwork. Philosophy, less is more. And finally, the philosophy. Every pixel has a reason to exist. There's no visual noise, no gimmicks. Form follows function, and that's where the beauty comes from. It's not about standing out, it's about making sense. And in Serenity OS, consistency always wins over originality. That's why everything feels so balanced and refined. This is Serenity OS's true secret. It's not made by committee. It's the result of a single vision, implemented with mathematical rigor and obsessive attention to detail. Every element breathes in harmony with the others because it follows the same invisible rules. And that's what Linux WMs are missing. That systemic coherence where everything feels like it was designed at the same moment, by the same mind, with the same care. Look at the themes. Many look like patchworks. But on Serenity, even retro themes like Cupertino or Server 2000 are stylistic masterpieces. And the default theme? It's a 90s symphony with modern logic. So I, who consider myself an aesthete, someone who believes in beauty, beauty as a container of content, not as a thing in itself, I ask myself if we really need transparent panels and desktop environments that use three gigabytes of RAM just to give us a visually pleasing experience, pleasantness, joy of use. I often find myself opening my virtual machine and just playing around, moving left and right, you can do very little with Serenity OS, and you know why? Because it's logical, pleasant, delightful. You feel at home, you feel happy. I don't want to be blasphemous, absolutely not. But I think this experiment comes very close to high-level masterpieces of interface design. And I mean Mac OS here. And no, I'm not referring to the style, which is totally different. I mean the overall experience, the balance, the iconic nature, the deliberate choice of shapes and colors, the proportions, We've forgotten how to appreciate simplicity. It's in simplicity that you find the laws that govern the universe. And the greatest design objects, the greatest forms, the ones that stay in our hearts, are essential. As if the artist didn't create anything, but simply carved away to reveal what was true and pure. So, if anyone out there with the skills has ever thought of replicating the Serenity OS desktop by porting it to GTK, and I know you can't fork it, it has to be rewritten from scratch. Well, I'm here. And by here, I mean I'm ready to help. And by help, I mean money. Because that's the only thing I can offer. Money, hosting, website creation, logo design, and then you do the rest. If you're out there, give me a sign. I'm here.